This lesson in how to use SPSS or PASW is going to be on how to use a particular command called split file and when you would want to use it. We'll start off uh, by looking at our data. We have a very simple data set, uh, participant ID. There's 18 participants, uh, their uh, sex, uh, they either get a 1 or a 2, and then some problem solving score. If we go to variable view, um, we can see that uh, problem solving is referring to some problem solving score uh, and their sex uh, numbers are identified uh, one is male and two is female. Let's go back to data view and let's say we wanted to first get uh, some descriptive information about our data set. We might go up to analyze, we'll go to descriptives and frequencies, we will uh, click on um, problem solving score and let's say we want to find out we don't really need the frequency information um, we do, however, want the mean, the median, and the mode, as well as the standard deviation, and even the range, let's say, and we'll hit uh, continue. And uh, when we do this, we find, uh, we get a, a table, it says there's 18 total individuals, the average is 81, the median is 82, the mode is 85, uh, standard deviation, the range information. And this is, uh, this is perfectly fine. But what if I asked you instead to find me the mean, median, and mode, standard deviation, and range for men alone? or for women alone. If you wanted to perform a particular analysis on only one category in a data set, such as men or women, then you're going to want to use the split file option. To do split file, we're going to go up to data, and we're going to go down to split file. What split file will do is allow you to analyze a set of data split along a particular categorical variable, such as sex or race. If you had people's age information in here and you split them into two groups, old and young, you might want to use split file if you wanted to get information about old people and information about young people. We'll hit split. We're going to click on compare groups and we're going to move sex over into the groups based on file and then all we're going to do is hit OK. Now, we'll see that as soon as we do this, you'll notice that our data is reordered. All the men are together, and all of the women are together. That happens automatically. The next thing we'll do is we'll go back up to Analyze, Descriptive Statistics, Frequencies, and now we will do the exact same thing we did before. We have the problem-solving score, nothing in statistics has changed, and we'll simply hit OK. Now we get the exact same frequency information, the number of people, the mean, median, mode, standard deviation, and range, but now it's for men and for women. The data is split, and as a result, we can see the data for each of the two groups. This is how you split a file in SPSS.